Hey guys, welcome to my video. So today's video is going to be of the June Smart Art Box. And I better make that. Okay, okay. So today is the June Smart Art Box, which looks like this. Oh, I already took that out, which probably gives you a hint of what we're doing today. So for those that don't know, I every month I do a demonstration on whatever's in the box for the Smart Art Box. If you want to know a bit more about it, just follow the link in the description. All it is, it's a monthly subscription box of art supplies. Um, so you guys subscribe for a fixed amount a month and then you can get... You, you have no idea what you're going to get until you get it. And they're pretty good. Usually they send you pretty decent supplies. And they send you, like if they're going to send you paper, they'll send you a whole pad of paper. If they're going to send you pencils, they'll send you like a whole little box of pencils. So um, I like that about Smart Art Boxes. They don't just send you one tiny thing or three small things. Um, they send you what the box is worth pretty much. Uh, well, in my opinion, they do anyways. Okay, so um, welcome to those that are on the chat. Hey Maureen, Tracy, Peggy, Marjean. Hey guys, Criss Cross, Terry, hey. So good to see you guys on here. <laughs> the usual faces, it's so nice. <laughs> cool guys, so um, I'm just gonna jump straight in and get started. The stream seems to be pretty good today, so hopefully it's um, gonna stay that way. Oh, it, it does get jumpy at times, doesn't it? Anyway, we're just gonna hope for the best. Right here. So, inside the box, we if you open the box, this is the first thing that you would have seen. So this pamphlet usually tells you a little bit about what's in the box. So usually they have an artist that's sort of represented with the products in the kit. They've got the project pointers, they've got in the box, and they've got the project tools. And then at the back, they give you a little like instruction um, tutorial on how to use the supplies. So let's have a look at what we got. We've got a brush which is just an Elite Synthetic Kalinsky Water Brush Round, number three. We've got three of the Brusho colors. So Brusho Crystal Colors, Sea Green, Olive Green, and Black. Uh, the Brusho Crystal Colors are amazing, versatile watercolor ink crystals. They can be used in a myriad of different ways. Incredibly vivid, vibrant, and brilliant. They open up a world of possibilities for painters, mixed media artists, and craft crafters of every level, from students to professionals. Sprinkle them directly on a wet substrate and watch intriguing organic patterns appear almost like magic. That sounds fun. That sounds really, really cool. So there's three of those colors. And then we've got a nice monster pad of paper. So it is fluid watercolor paper block cold press 6x8 um, and there's 15 sheets of 140, uh, 140 pound papers. So these are these are really thick which is great so they shouldn't warp or anything so we can go crazy with the water. Um, Oh, and then there also was a spray bottle in here, which I already filled with some water. Oh, so that's what's in the box. This is, I think this is going to be messy, but it's going to be fun. So in the bag, they suggested that you um, take a pin, like a push pin, and make a hole in the top. But I don't have any push pins. And I'm not sure if I want to do that because I won't be able to close it afterwards. So I can make a hole using like an etching needle, but I wouldn't be able to close it after. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see <laughs> see what happens if I don't. Okay, so let's open these guys up. <laughs> I'm actually quite scared to open it because I, ju I can just imagine powder going everywhere. Okay, 
So creating a brusher watercolor painting. Brusher is a one-of-a-kind water-based paint medium. It's super highly pigmented, unpredictable, and incredibly fun to paint with. Whether you paint with watercolors or are new to art, brusher is a forgiving medium, but used as a method for painting loose, expressive artwork. So this month we challenge you to be inspired by Lord Lordes Sanchez's floral fantasy fantasias to create your own brusher watercolor masterpiece. I have no idea how to say her name, but hopefully something like that. <laughs> okay, prepare your supplies and workspace. Brusho powders can be messy. Okay, so it's said to use a pen. Okay, I'm just going to jump right in and hope for the best. And I'll zoom in in a second. Maureen says, never heard of them. Yeah, me neither, actually. You make a valid point. I've never heard of them either. But it sounds pretty fun. Oh, these are glued so tight together. I don't want to bend the paper by undoing. How do you undo this without bending the paper? Oh, that's horrible. Paper is really glued on me. Far up. Jeez. Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want happening. They're doing that to protect the paper, but they they're not protecting the paper from the user. Only from postage. <laughs> I'm gonna try a fear. That one feels thicker than the first one. The first one feels is a lot thinner. You can actually see that it's a lot thinner. Maybe. Okay, it's getting easier. So let's just have three sheets ready for the moment. First one can be the top one. So Jody's asking, are these powders or crystals? They're crystals, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I got one. <laughs> okay, let's open these up. Ooh, so that one is olive green. But that looks very red. Okay. Black. Ah! That looks brown. So these are crystals. That's pretty crazy. Organic pigments of proprietary crystalline carrier. That, that's pretty, that's really cool. Okay. Um, so this one is sea green. Maybe they turn to the colors that they seem to be on the bottle when you apply them to the paper. Because that does not look like olive green and that does not look like sea green. And that looks like brown or black. But they're still three beautiful colors, so let's see what we can do with them. So, I actually have something extra that's not in there. I've got some masking fluid, which I'll try on the second one. I guess I'll get a feel for all of this first, and then we'll try it. So what I'm going to do is, so the brush that it comes with, 
I'll use to paint with I guess but I'll use another brush a dry brush to sort of just sprinkle the colors onto the the water so let's just see what happens when we spray oh <laughs> I can just see myself blow, blowing any like dog fur or something off and then I'm just gonna blow the crystals all over the place <laughs> Okay, this spray bottle's like super intense. I just want little ones. Oh, did I mess stuff on there already? Okay. So that's wet. Why is it warping? It's so thick. It's not supposed to warp. Okay, let's use some of the olive green. Look at that, that looks so cool. That's like, that's a whole bunch of colors in there. No, I should use a different color. Let's use some of the sea green. Let's spray it again and see what happens. Gosh, this is so pretty. Uh, I should have put something underneath my paper. Uh, okay. I got paper towel. Let's see what happens if we create some blushes. Fascinating colors. That's that's pretty. That's really cool. Now I might just. I have some water over here. Let's. Should have created like a little, or well, got a palette, a little palette or something. The, this is so profound. Like it's so cool how the colors. What do we see in here that we can emphasize? chicken <laughs> maybe <laughs> wow th this stuff like paints it paints on real nice this brush is actually not bad some kind of bird <laughs> cool that looks like another one let's create another one uh, maybe we'll use these colors instead Just the color change is so weird. It's so cool though. Okay, my little abstracty chickens. Let's make this one scream or look like it's singing. 
close its eyes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> Let's see what this black or brown looks like. Well, it says black, so I'm going to take it word for it oh my god it looks so cool when you dip it in the water look at that oh that looks so good oh my i want to video that and just watch that in a video that would just it looks so mesmerizing Mm. Yep, yeah, this is black. Mm. It's supposed to look like they're walking. <laughs> That's cool. That's my first little one and I love it. I think it looks epic. Okay, I gotta try another one with some masking fluid. Hello chickens. What do you do with all this? Okay, this one feels a lot thicker, so maybe that one won't warp. And I'm just going to use some of the Molotov, Mol Molotov masking fluid. This is actually a refill for a pen like this. This didn't come in the box. But I just want to see what will happen. Oh, okay, there's a reason that it's called a refill. So I'll use the pen then. Actually, let's just create some dots. And just create some patterns. gonna have to dry so we'll go onto another card while this dries and I don't know what I just did oh my god it just blotches out okay I'm gonna put that aside so that can dry and then we'll do another card I wonder what else we can do. Maybe we'll paint the water on. Just create a flower. do this quickly oh 
I'm not even reading what you guys are saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just so enveloped in what I'm do doing. Partly because I don't know what I'm doing. But that's the fun part. Okay. okay, let's just sprinkle because it's just going to get dry. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh no, I just did that in water. That's supposed to be the one that stays dry. Need more water. masking fluid you can just paint with water there's no point in using masking fluid oh, wow. we could probably fill these petals in that looks beautiful stuff I want to use it more yeah, imagine creating a like a nice portrait or profile or something using this myth that would look amazing I am totally going to find out what it costs <laughs> and maybe buy a couple more colors, but this is just beautiful. And this is so strange because I, the past couple of weeks, I have become obsessed with crystals. Like I literally have them lying around everywhere. I've got this really cool Labradorite crystal, which almost looks like a little galaxy in there. And, um... Just some, some other crystals lying around. Here I've got a whole box next to me of some crystals. And I've just been collecting them of late. So it's kind of funny that this mod art box happens to come up with a crystal powder. And I like the idea of painting with crystals. It just sounds beautiful. Okay. Uh, sorry guys, the OBS is not doing very well. Let me zoom in. Like zoom right in and see. Yeah, sorry, uh, the internet, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's struggling. The last couple of videos that I've done live, they're just not working for me. It's almost like I shouldn't be doing live videos. But I want to, I won't stop. But it, it does make it hard to watch when it constantly buffers. 
And yes, I am in a tiny little country town in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, Rain, no problems. Thank you for trying to tune in. I don't blame you at all. It's all good. Someone asked me if it's glittery, um, no, not that I can see at the moment. Yeah, I just got a thing saying that um, the internet's not doing too good. I'm going to keep going, but I am recording from now, and um, I'll just put that recording on afterwards. Ah, oh, serious? Robin says, it's not just my live streams, Lisa and Valerie's have been doing it too. Oh, that's annoying. These colors are so cool. Okay, I think I want to spray down here. I know it's going to spread and maybe just like a little bit up here. Maybe drag it along and make it look like leaves hanging off of vines. Thank you. 
This is so addictive. That looks cool. It looks like it could even be like an underwater sort of plant. So that's it over there. Hey Wicked. Bob says she loves brushes. That's cool. So Bob knows what they are. I think someone, a few of you know what it is. But they are. I'm beginning to really, really, really like them as well. They look insane. I like the effect. I like the intensity of colors. It's not like as, as dull as watercolors can be. almost dried but not enough yet so I'll wait and we'll do another one so so far I have my funky chickens <laughs> and this cool seaweed looking flower <laughs> So that still has to dry. Oh, no wonder it felt so thick. There's another sheet behind here. Did I do the same then for these? Hmm. No. Cool. Now, I don't know what to do for this one. Let's just water it up. My water is filthy. That's not gonna work, is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this little spray bottle because it doesn't spray quite as intensely as the, the, the big bottle does. being very friendly. Okay.
<laughs> I like that. We can pretty much just paint in here. Paint in and watch something just transform from it. Jean says the shape on the left has an eye. Had. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Everyone always sees something different. Just leave it abstracty looking. try the masking fluid one because it's not going to dry in time and then I have to wait for this to dry so that I can take the masking fluid off okay how about we paint let's do the tutorial actually so I might just paint little flowers on and then sprinkle it later so we'll do what it says mm, use these. It'll look like a starry night to some stars. <gasps> we should try and do a moon.
I'm so tempted to just take my fingers, but they won't fit in there, so it's probably a good thing because I would just waste it. So tempting to just spray that now. Let's do it. Paper towel. Oh, stay flat. Let's see what papers we, what patterns we can make out of the paper towels. This, these are beautiful colors just for a background. Maybe make like a forest out of this or something. These are gorgeous colors. make a very nice background. Mm. Okay, let me just... Oh, I took a really nice photo of the moon on my mom's birthday on the 23rd of June the other day. And maybe we should paint that one. Where is it? There it is. Check out my photo of the moon. So I, I've got a really nice telescope and then I just hover my phone lens over the telescope lens and then take photos like that. So let's try and paint the moon on the next one. That summer to dry. Try and excavate another sheet of paper. <laughs> okay. So Let's paint. Um, actually, I'll be right back. I'm just going to get some clean water. Okay. I'll be right back. Peggy says, I saw your moon. Okay. 
Now that I have clean water. Okay, let's see what happens now. Whoa, I almost took that over. That would have been scary. Just have one side of the moon nice and dark. Pretty insane. 
空间。Hey to some of you guys that are only tuning in now. Um, no, it's not ink. They're called brushos. Um, so they look like this. Brusho colors, which are, they're actually crystals. Like ground crystal colors. It's just, it's amazing because this this color over here is what we've got over here so the minute you add water it changes completely which would be so confusing for those that actually package the colors up i think <laughs> like oh what color did i put in here i don't know i'm just trying to Create more moon like textures, like as the craters. See, I work so much better if I have a reference to look at. Just out of my head, I just <laughs> come up with nonsense. The moon would actually look really nice on this sheet. But this this looks nice like this too. I think just with the colour of the water, I don't know if it's gonna come up or not, but I just wanna create like the unseen part of the moon. Hopefully I don't ruin it. Yeah, that's cool. 
that looks amazing. This part of the moon is a lot lighter. Cool. And then I might just create little tiny little drops everywhere. Pull some stars. Sort of the opposite, usually you do the stars in white. This will do. Cool, let's see how easy it would be for me to paint my name. <laughs> I like that. That looks cool. Okay. Now I sort of wish that I had done the moon on here. I think it would have looked so nice. And then if you take like the um, a white paint marker or something for the stars, who knows? Maybe we can still do it. Let's see what happens when we do have a green moon. Okay. 
And then since that is pretty wet, maybe we can just add some more color. It's actually not that wet, but it is. side of the moon is darker Okay, this one doesn't quite look right if it's not a full. Mm -hmm. That's better. Oh, that's pretty. My moon's not very round. It's not so easy to do that. <laughs> and I will try and make it rounder and then I'll just end up making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, cool. Now I think I have a, a paint marker in here somewhere. I do, right here. So let's see if we. We should wait for it to dry a little bit more. It's still a bit wet, so I feel like the the paint marker is just absorbing into it. First time I use the brushes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first time I use the brushes, and I am quite happy with it. I think it looks really cool. The two moons. That one was actually supposed to be that way, but anyways, it looks nice that way. And I did something over here. <laughs> It's like an abstracty face in there, and then the flower, and the chickens. 
I'm pretty impressed. It's not masterpieces, but I mean, it was still a lot of fun. And that's all that matters, is as long as you have fun. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, who was that? Iggy, no ways. Farah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, that's crazy. Amal, thank you, that's very kind of you. <laughs> okay cool um all right so that is the june smart art box so if you guys want to know more about the smart art box that will be the information is in the description below um i didn't record this until uh the flower i think this flower so um from the flower to the moons is what i will put on to excuse me i'll put onto youtube um, later so you guys can watch that a little bit easier because I know the live stream has been Terrible the last couple of live streams. It just seems to buffer or like lag or stop every couple of seconds, which is annoying Like right now it looks like my head's frozen. So sometimes you just have to um, Refresh refresh your page um, Okay so that is it for the June Smart Art Box. I do this every month. Um, it depends on when I get the box. I haven't set a date on every month in particular because sometimes I get the box halfway through the month. Sometimes I get the box like right at the end of the month. So probably usually towards about right the end of the month, I'll do the live stream where I'll demo the box for that month. And, um, and yeah. And then some of you would already know. So yesterday I made the giant leap of changing my student portal subscription plan to a pay what you can subscription. So I literally released all the content that I have um, on my website. So on my Patreon and my website, you pay what you can and you'll get access to it. So everybody that pays $1 to $20 will get access to the exact same content. So it's up to you, whatever you can afford. So the reason I'm doing that is so that you guys can, um, so that anyone can do it. So I don't want to limit um, who can get access to it. So if you can afford more, great. If you can't, then that's fine too. You'll still get access to the content. And also it makes a, it puts a little less pressure on me as well because I like to create when I want to create, not when I feel forced to create. So I feel more comfortable doing a pay what you can subscription and I sort of just go at my own pace when it feels good to do so. So a lot of you have shown a lot of support for that change to the pay what you can thing and um, I appreciate that so much. It's really great. And it doesn't mean I'm going to slow down completely. It's not an excuse to do that. It's just so that I don't feel the pressure of trying to be on a strict schedule all the time because um, I don't feel like I create good art or create good videos if I'm not feeling like I'm in the headspace to do so. But anyways, that information is all on my website. So thank you guys for those that are um, participating in that. And um, thank you for everybody else who tuned in today's live stream. It was fun. I apologize for the glitchiness, but I'll see if I can upload the other video soon, um, which should be a lot more, a lot easier to watch. Okay. Cool, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And some of you for like pushing through all the... Um, video disaster because of the the streaming capability is not very strong but yeah some of you still stick around to the end which is insane <laughs> cool guys um oh and the next live stream video will be for the color pencil magazine so the first thursday of every month i do that one so that's coming up but if you want to know about these and you're not already subscribed to my newsletter just head onto my website and subscribe to my newsletter and I generally send out a notification about a half an hour before every live stream. And then if you're available, you can tune in. Radio. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.